morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world, and thank you for joining us today for another Left 4 Dead 2 competitive shoutcast. My name is MK, I'll be your caster and cameraman for today, and <coughs> looks like we finally have everybody in here about to get this match on the way, we hope. I don't know if they're still waiting on their fourth to get in here or not. We'll have to see. Oh, there it is. It is Yaft. Yaft is there. I don't think it is Caution. Hopefully it is not. Don't think so, but look at that. We're going live so fast to Cory versus Smurf party time. No hesitation after in the server. 45 minute delay. Game is going and we have action. Our tank's going to be early around 30% of the way through the map, so it's going to be very oh, early. <laughs> it's going to set the tone for the tournament match for sure. But they're going to be able to grab ammo, so everybody should get a gun. Grizz Bray's on the wall. Opening attack, try cap with the boomer. No spit, no jock. Corey first with the survivor. Deal roster rundown after the first hit goes in. Hunter gets stuck in the door. Eventually, the Charger finds a way to get a target. The Boomer Proxy's on one. Smoker gets a scratch, it seems. And that'll be 18 points of damage on the board from the Infected. Not bad for no spitter. As third party time is chatting in the chat. A little bit of friendly fire at the end. And for a quarry, we'll have Zyko, Yap, Chris, and Sless. The first tank of the game for a Smurf party will be in the hands of Moz. And his other teammates will be... Super, Hectoctic, I think, and Soul. Not quite sure. Because it's cutting off the whole name for some reason for me. But either way, Smurf Party is getting their tank into a better position. He has taken no damage whatsoever. I'm waiting for the chance to commit his tank with whatever spawns are going to be given. I think they're going to sack this boomer. I don't think there's any way they go in with this. Not going to get nothing. Yaf shuts it down. And now we be patient and wait for the spawns to come back in rotation. Smoker Hunter. I don't know if they want this Smoker. No, they don't want it. Smoker will miss. And now they kill it towards the end. They do that on purpose. That now they're not going to have a full hit when he sends it. He has to commit with only two. And he is in the door. Chasing Yaf around the corner, misses his first punch down to 2400 HP. Here comes his support, he's down to 1000. He gets another punch, he's spreading the love. Hunter finds a target, and the tank has died. And great take by Hakori showing their dominance so far. As the Charger goes in by himself, and this is not looking like a good start for Smurf Party at this moment. Not much damage. They double up on a set of pills that they find for Zyko, and the W key will be held. Reload. All right, they navigate. No death charges. The charger died at the end. There is a call to go. Here goes the smoker. He misses. Jockey's coming at the same time. They do get a double proxy. I think it's a quad sack. We're going to have to wait for the spit, and then I'll be able to push through. As Yaf is already down the stairs, no hesitation, clearing out commons, waiting for his team. They don't break the first door, so they'll be able to take it a little bit quick. And spawns are coming up, and they're going to be able to get through. No death charge possibility here. All right, quad tempt. They can land this, they'll make up for everything that happened. And there it looks like they want to. Here comes the Hunter. Here comes the Charger. Charger misses. And they got somebody pulled in. Oh, it's a lot of damage though. Good job by Smurf time. Or Smurf party time. Let's see what that is. That's great damage. They've actually more than doubled their damage from that hit. If the Hunter only covered that Smoker a split second sooner. We might have another 40% bonus gone, but good job by them. And the call to go. There's the smoker, here's the charger. Spitter's in there. Oh, it's spread. He ran out. Were there any safe spots in there? Yes, there would have been, but he ran through and took some damage, but not much. They still have 60%. 
Elevator's still working. Elevator is here, and now they continue. I'm Rochelle. What's your name? Ellis. Pleasure to meet you, Rochelle. People call me Coach. What's your name? Name's Nick. I'm gonna get out of shit city oh if it gosh. kills me. Let's stay together for a little while longer. Activity on that is insane. It's going to be another quad try. They're calling to go right away. No hesitation. They go in. They land a double cap. Smoker dies off at the end. They'll get an additional 5%, but before he's going to be able to push forward with over half of the bonus with one probably attack left. Bless is about to be slow. 40 HP now is crawling. Not going to choose to eat the pills. Going to hold on to those extra amount of points. We gotta get around this fire. And this is the last hit. Charger gets a double in between. He eats him in the fire. Yaf's gonna get in cap. Oh my goodness. What a attack. As they have a survivor bleeding. Or he might burn to death. Can Yaf keep up in time? What a charger. Saving the round for the team. What a hit. If the hunter covers, the, I think if the hunter lands there, Yaf dies. Still, still opportunity for more. Smoker goes out. The charger does not find a spawn and misses. Hunter lands one damage. Nothing from the last hit. Clean from there from a quarry. Actually, but a lot of friendly fire. Eight friendly fire goes out, <laughs> and they get seven percent with those scramble at the end. But my goodness, what a charge in the fire! Amazing hit for his team. And a quarry will put up 692 points for one chapter. And now Smurf Party Time has to make this map. 400 God distance. Damn it, we just missed it. Hey, this is a chance for them to take a lead if they could put up just 50% bonus. Let's see what happens damn if they do. Five Hola, mi amigos. Look Welcome, like guys. The mall ¿Cómo estás? And so am I. Grab a weapon, let's go. I think the goddamn building's on fire. I've been hearing about things. You know what? Never mind. But grab a weapon. Trust me. Josh. Shotgun. Hola, Incomplete. ¿cómo estás, mi amigo? How you doing, Shockwave? That way, lose a teammate. Wait for the return. And for those that are just joining, remember we have two more matches right after this coming up. No hesitation. And the teammates have returned. Waiting for the ready up. And we'll go live. Gonna go in, Charger misses. Okay, now I'm killing and they just get a couple dings and dams here on, as far as damage going out, but they're gonna be able to get through. And here will be the first tank of the game for Hakori. Into the hands of Chris, recently added member, played with Fear Factory with them. It looks like he might want to chuck some rocks. Charger lands a double. No slam, though. Here comes the rock. Oh, he's a little early. He would have had it, though. And Chris has given up. He's not going to throw for another rock. And they want to chip him down this hall. 
They get him for a couple, but not much at all, actually, if you think about it. He only lost 130. Smoker dies off. Boomer doesn't find a spawn. This means that Corey's going to have the exact hit that they want. All right, Chris. Thanks going to be going in any second. Second pass, dropping down frustration, waiting for his last spawn to come up. He's going to have Charger and a Jockey, I think. Yep, this is what he wants. And all right, tank is in. The pre-chip was pretty good. They get him down to K at the door. They're retreating. He's going to high ground. He gets his first punch onto Ellis. Second punch onto Ellis. Another punch onto Ellis. Here comes the hit. The charger lands. He gets another punch. Another punch while killing the hunter. Yet another punch goes out. He gets a second in cap. Smurf party. Misses Rochelle there. And that will be all Chris can get. Two in cap tank, plus some other down? punches. Massive damage going out, but Smurf Party will survive. And their crawl will now not be slowed because they have pills with more pills coming up. Let's see how much they can hold on to as far as points. First hit after tank, 2-2. Two, two. Boomer Smoker's going to be up there. Hey, we gotta find the stairs. I believe it was the jockey that died. No, it's going to be a charger. They're going to have a 2-2 two, two chance for a death charge. Don't know if that's what they're going to go for. Let's see what they choose. There it goes. Oh, the charger gets stuck. They do go for a death charge. And they get him in the fire, actually. I think that might have been intentional. Purposely putting him in the fire. As Smurf Party Time still has the win on this round so far by about 7%. Not much. Coming around the turn. Death charge possibility. Are they going to have it? Yes, they will. Looking for spawns quickly. Maybe they might try to go for something in the back here. They're going to bring the jockey, smoker, and the charger from the rear. They're just going to go for the quad cap. Not going to really land. Charger goes in, gets a couple of fists before he gets killed off. The Corey will win the round. But Smurf party time is going to survive and at least to this crescendo event with about 300 points. They do pop pills. They're going to... Continue the bleeding. 60% DB. Two sets of pills left. One more down the bottom. Say what? I don't know what that means. You didn't know something what it means before I say it, but maybe it, during the break time. But right now we'll keep it with the action. A little bit of more chip. Bonus still stays above 30. We lose about 20 points. Watch out! Hello, Blues. Welcome. All right, now we get into the elevator. Pleased to meet you. And we be patient for a minute. And let's see. I don't even know what that language that is. <laughs> But it is after tank. They have a charger. They have a hunter. Charger's actually on fire. They're going to pre-spit. It's going to spread everywhere. They pull him into the spit. Oh my goodness. Hikori melts away. Smurf party time. All of their bonus is pretty much gone now. Just a little bit of DB. <laughs> my attempt on saying that would be Tis Chesterma. That's my chance. That was my attempt. But we have a burning jockey going in the back. Gets an in cap onto one, not the other though. Spit goes in for a delay. He's going to get it, but not get the in cap. As Ellis is barely standing with two health. Getting the pick up in the back. He needs his teammates to help. Actually, all the, the zombies run through the fire. They clear it up by themselves. Spitter's still alive up front. And Smurf party time is crawling with just a bit of points. Charger looking for a spawn onto Ellis. And looks like they're going to make a play on the back here as they go for the pull. They get the in cap. Oh, they get the jock. Charger covers. 
They're gonna survive. And they'll still have a little bit of points left. 22. I reckon if this keeps up, I'm gonna die. Okay, in here, this room looks safe. Reload us. Oh, Alright, 15 points left. I have the Reload. feeling that the rest of the SI are not going to let this go unscathed. Hey, run, as they are trying to crawl in. 15, they close it. They will get some points and they walk in with... Wait, what? Huh? Okay, I guess they don't get points, even though it says they do have points. I don't know why that that occurs, but it happened. Maybe not what a time to be alive, but maybe what a time not to be left for dead. How about that? <laughs> As we wait for one more to ready up, we will resume the game. We're going to have another early tank sitting at 31%, 1% longer than the other. They do have a tri-cap with spit. All separators, no no, uh, no hunter. Good, good chance for damage output. <clears throat> See what happens. Hikori with Survivor. doesn't do much damage. They're able to push down through the stairs without spawns able to get in there, and they didn't kill the spitter in the right rotation, so they're not going to have one for the stairs, and the survivor's going to be able to push down pretty much with no danger. Charger grabs the survivor, gets cleared. The other two infected come in. Oh, that's a me was that a melee ski? I don't even know who got that, but the hunter gets skeeted. And there it is, the second tank of the game for Smurf Party Time into the hands of Super. And he's bringing toys into play for sure, popping it up. Trying to break them apart. Sheriff Carlos gonna back up and not really cooperate. He that one's also not cooperating with him as well. He's gonna have to go back and get him if he wants them. I don't even know where the cop car is. He could probably get the hatch back up now. Misses the punch. Oh no. Oh, he gets it over, but not in the best spot. Tank is kinda running out of time here to play with his toys. <clears throat> that one is not in a great spot either. He's gonna have a hard time hitting that up. And not gonna work. And he is choosing to just leave it. Now, now he's juking me out, going the other way. <clears throat> Trying everything he can to pop this other car up. That's less than saying, let's go back. He is in, making his way to the survivors. Hunter is going to try to get him his early pounce, but gets skeeted. Jockey and Boomer walk in. The Boomer lands. He gets an early punch. The Jockey's already dead. 
Gets another punch on to Zyko. Chucks the rock, misses. Probably gonna be all that he gets is a two hitter. They only lose a set of pills and some health bonus. 48 damage from the tank. And Akori keeps pushing. Corey looking very dominant right now. 80% bonus left. Still quite a bit of the map to go through. Reloading. Reloading. Over the dumpster. Reloading. Club here. Grabbing the club. Reloading. 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 I'm a reload. Up to the stair choke point. They do have a tri cap with spit. The hunter lands. A beast spit damage. That's double coming. Charger gets melted away though. He hesitated. And it turns out to be only 5% on a stair hit. I just don't think that's a lot of damage coming out from the infected, allowing them to pretty much hold W. Keeping the spitter alive is a wise play, I would say, but Corey looking good. Zyko eats another set of pills, though. They'll lose 30 points for that. Going up the stairs. And now we have a stairwell hit. And a 2-2. Hunter coming in quickly. Not able to find a target. Jockey. Just some free spit. And they can get by it. Reloading. This way. And here they go. Impressive so far. Reloading. Oh, sweet. Jesus, look at all these guns. As spawns are up, it is going to be another tri cap with the boomer. Probably see a hit on the way out because they definitely want to be able to hit as they try to turn this off. Hunter's going to be pre spawned. I think they should just let him out and hit on the transition, maybe. And it looks like that's what they're planning on doing. Send the boomer from the bottom is a pretty smart play. Oh, what a charge! Oh, it's so unlucky he got stuck. What a charge spawn, but he gets stuck up there, not able to take him down. He gets cleaned up pretty quickly. And they'll be able to go and start this event, get the cola up there. Yak has to eat a set of pills. They're down to only one set left. As Chris runs in to grab the cola. Actually, it's not going to be Chris. It is going to be Zyko. Coach does not catch it. Coach throws it right up there. Boomer could try to mess with it, but they do not have a Boomer. They have a tricap with Spit. See what they can do. Charter is melted away. Jockey is unable to find a target. Hunter doesn't go with his team, decides to wait. Hunter lands, but just delays for just a couple seconds. And the pathway is clear, and they still have 60% bonus. And as the smokers pre spawns, it gets hunted down with a charger as the only capper to assist the two support. And it looks like a quarry is going to walk in with about 60%. And not much I think they can do about it as far as the infected team. Hey, don't shoot the car. Hey, I'm reloading. <laughs> Last hit coming out by the Special Infected. It's going to be a Charger, Spitter, Jockey. Don't think they're going to have time for the last one, and they're not going to land anything. Maybe Spit Damage? Nope, and that's be safe room made. Maybe Hunter can get a scratch or two. Looking for it. Not able to do so, and... Actually goes out and gets it. And they do take damage, making 800 even.
Alright, as we switch over to the other side now, it is going to be Smurf Party time with their Survivor play. All right, here we go to the second half of chapter two. It is going to be Zai or uh, Hakori with their infected. And I gotta fix that. There's a little bit of problem there. J Dot, if you're watching, if I do hit the vertical button on a non server that's yours, it is lightning fast with a double charge in the spit. And they're swimming in it. Smoker gets a pull, gets a couple more dings. Jockey tries to grab Rochelle, but. Wow, over 15% coming out there. And Hakori is now showing their dominance with a massive opening hit before this tank. Stack order was good too. They're gonna have a charge spit for the inside, I believe. Reloading. Look out! Hey, let's try that door. Hunter Charger, they're not gonna hesitate. They're gonna go on the back ones. They get the pounce. There's the spit. And there's the charge. They gotta run through it to clear them. Oh, and they keep them in the spit. And another double digit hit coming out. And Akori is just damaging the survivors right now so much. Two hits, averaging 15% is not going to be a good outcome for the survivors as they have the second tank of the game for Akori into the hands of Yaft. And Smurf Party Time is retreating as Yaft is getting toys. He gets one into play. Here comes the hatchback, gonna pop up. Oh my gosh, it falls back down, but he has plenty of time to get it. Oh, not cooperating. Okay, this one should pop up. No, it doesn't. He'll figure it out, though. There we go. Probably not gonna get it up. That might be my workout. And too far. He can just walk underneath and get it, but he's not going to do that. He's just going to go to high ground over here. Up over the hedge. Get up to the top. And it looks like he's going to just completely ignore those toys. Let's go for the standard one dumpster here. As Rochelle is kind of separated. Gets punched by this. Oh my goodness. Dumpster coming out. They get the yin cap onto Rochelle. Yaf still has a lot of HP as he's trying to decommit. 2700. Oh, that rock was so close. Not going to get it. And not that he can really do here, though. Delays the pickup. He's bringing them into play, the toys. Oh, they got to be careful. Survivor's being extra aggressive. He's punching. The boomer manages to find the targets. He is delaying this as much as he can. There is a survivor on the ground. He does have two dumpsters ready to hit the survivors. They stop the pickup. They get another dumpster going out. Yav still has a couple hundred HP left to try to do what they can to delay this. Here comes another. He gets another dumpster. He only has one survivor up, and there's the pounce. And that's going to be the wipe coming out from Akori. Beautiful SI play coming out from them. And they will have a commanding lead of about 1,500 points going to next map. And we'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
And please, Lord, let the food court be okay. And here we go live. First half of chapter three. It's gonna be Hikori with their survivor first. Pretty commanding lead. About 1,500 points. We're gonna see a tank swap to the other side of the threshold here. Around 80%, but they're gonna send everything out the door. Pounce Pit's gonna come in. They might get charge stumble. Yes, they do. Grizz taking a bunch of damage all the way down to 62 HP. And even Zyko loses eight as well. Good opening attack coming out from Smurf party time. Let's see if they can keep it up as the survivors keep progressing through the map. Reloading. Through here. <clears throat> as they pass the Magnum spawn. This isn't a Magnum this time at all, but the spawns are up. Hunter, Smoker, Boomer, Jockey. It's Retro with a Jock. It should go pretty quickly here. They're hesitating. Here comes the Smoker. Here comes the Jockey. Hunter gets skeeted. Jockey gets bullied. Everything else is melted. A little bit of friendly fire does go out there, oh, dropping the survivors down to a perfect score of 90.9 bonus. 1,400 even. Along with that 700 distance would be 2,100 points. And yes, we're going to have another match right after this one. We're going to go into it almost immediately without any waiting. Hunter is now pre-spawned all the way down at the end of the hall. The Chargers Hunter. kind of waiting. Here they're going to go. They're going to send it. Smoker in the back. And the support kind of went in one at a time instead of as a team, and that will shut down everything. <laughs> and they have pretty much taken no damage except for Grizz taking all of it at the beginning and a little bit off Zyko. Celeste joins the company. Chris stays at a perfect 100 HP. <clears throat> the doors are a little OP. They need nerfing. And the event is started. They have a tri-cap. No charger. The jockey latches on. The smoker comes from behind. Hunter from the front. They all kind of go in one at a time. The damage isn't terrible, but... They're going to be able to push up, get up the second escalator without any issues, and even spawn that tank. I don't think it'll come to a problem, but Celeste was not able to grab it. Ah, never mind, they do it. They're good on ammo. Psycho and Celeste taking the shotguns for the team. Grizz and Grizz both being an Uzi player. Tank's about to come up. Tank has spawn. Here it comes. Spawns are up. They're going to send the charger, and the jockey will land at the same time. Spick goes out on the nothing. And that is now the spawns dealt with. That's the third tank of the game will be... Can't even see the... Pep... Pedip Rock? I can't even see the rest of their name. Unfortunately, it doesn't say the whole name in the chat for me. I wonder why it doesn't tell me everything, but... The Pedal Crack. <laughs> okay, Pedal Crack is gonna be... <laughs> It's going to be the tank, and they look like they're calling out no hitter as Hikori has backed off. And there's an early pull. It's not cleared. He gets an early punch. It's not a bad start. He's got to pop his pills, but he eats another punch. It's already more punches than I thought this tank was going to go for. The rock is a little questionable. The hunter will land, and he's going to get cleared. Another pull. The tank. Oh, accidentally gets stuck out, and that is probably all he's going to get. And he's probably going to die now as he drops down. 
And they're just going to push forward. They're going to turn this button off. And they're probably not going to stop. And they're going to keep progressing through the map without a spitter to worry about. I ain't never going to stop ringing. And the horde is about to come. Okay, they're not worried about it at all as this tank is rushing in. He's going to rely on his support from the front. Here he comes, 50% frustration. Here they're going to go. He punches and he's dead. They do lay a two cap in the front. And they'll chip away at Akuri. That's less going to have to pop his pills. They're going to be able to make safe room for sure. But they're still going to have 50% of the bonus. And walking in with 800 points on this map with 700 distance. 1500 point chapter is tough. I'm a reload. Up that escalator. And that attack did pretty much, actually does do quite a bit, believe it or not. It takes under 50%, down to 46.9, but that'll be safe for May to Corey. Putting up over almost 3,500 points for three chapters. Let's see what they actually is going to be. It'll be 34 and chain up, 35-12. Very impressive. DB at 99%. And here we go live to the second half of chapter three. It looks like this one might already be decided, but they gotta go with their survivor side. The jockey will grab him, the charger will land, the spit will land. Hunter is gonna try to cover and just go for scratches, and now he's gonna get M2'd. And actually, believe it or not, Smurf Party will take more damage from the opening hit than they did to Akori. I think he can survive down to 50, 50, 55, I mean, 1 to 73, 1 at 99, 1 at 100. Let's go through here. Everybody grab a down weapon. That escalator. Reload. Incoming. Uh, the charger will miss. Smoker lands on his head. And he'll get a little bit more damage. He's gonna make one of the survivors slow as well. As they're coming up the escalator, they are at the top. Making the turn, now the Hunter doesn't waste any, Jockey wasted no time, they're gonna land the Charger, Hunter's jumping around trying to keep him in the spit, he's gonna do so, they're gonna get Death Spit, oh poor Ellis is gonna eat it, and loses about 40 HP in less than a second, that's how fast the double spit goes down. Shotgun. Back down the stairs. And they're gonna be able to push. Nice. Down the stairwell, coming up to the event now. 61.2% bonus left on the survivors. Double up on a set of pills. I got a sick feeling this alarm. They can still win this round. They just got to take this tank very well. Looks like they're thinking about bringing this charger from the back. Yeah, here they go. Here comes the charger. He lands. One slam. Jockey doesn't get the separated survivor. 
They'll clean it up. Super does not go down. He's gonna have to eat his pills. He's not choosing. Okay, there he does. Unfortunately, he might be slow now for this tank. Smoker still alive, being hunted down by Rochelle. Rochelle gets pulled, but gets cleared quickly by his friends. And they're at the top. They're gonna be able to get this tank up. Hunter finds a spawn behind there. Everything spawns back there, but gets stuck. And here is the third tank of the game for Hikori into the hands of Zyko. Jockey latches on. Tank's trying to get up there before everybody get out of the room. Zyko's not able to do so. This tank is very support driven. is in there's his pull he gets a punch onto Rochelle early another punch one more will be the in cap and what a boomer now he's pursuing charger spawns behind him he missed a punch he's just gonna run away right now as the charger is hiding behind the bush we'll stick with this charger as he goes down and decommits for a respawn he gets to the rock Daiko just showing himself this is another rock gets the rock Gonna go in. Here he goes. Gets a punch. Hunter lands. The clear. The jockey lands. And they're gonna clean it up with a wipe. And that will be Hikori getting the wipe on this Smurf party time. And they call the G oh, the, uh, the GGs are out. And that'll be Hikori winning. Ooh, I gotta fix the scores. 35-12 to 1032. GG.